Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at Mesh Command and especially Mesh Command in the context of AMT, Active Management Technology. So if you have not uh, looked at it yet, Mesh Command is a tool that is available on um, Mesh, Central dot, uh, Mesh Central 2. So if you have a Mesh Central 2 server, you uh, look at it uh, here. The link is right there. You click and download Win32, Win64, or uh, Linux, and we'll have different platforms uh, available of this uh, command line tool. Uh, if you don't have Mesh Central 2, uh, the website will provide links uh, on meshcentral.com. So, this is a command line tool that you download, and you can type mesh cmd, and it will show you a whole bunch of possible commands you can do. You can also type mesh command space help space the specific action you want to uh, have more help on, and it will give you more help on that specific action. So, um, now I can do mesh command uh, amt info. And this will give me the current state of my AMT machine, uh, the AMT version, it's a pre-provisioning state, the wired network adapter is enabled in DHCP, and that's the MAC address right here. I can also type AMT versions, and this will give me a whole bunch of version information about uh, this AMT. I can also say hashes. This, this is all the trusted hashes of AMT, so you can list that there. The other nice thing I can do is type mesh command AMT CCM, and this is to activate AMT. Now it will ask me for a password, so I could do dash dash password, or I can just type dash dash pass, it's, it's the same thing. And I can tap a test password, so for example, password or whatever I want, and a few seconds later, boom, AMT is now activated in CCM. I can do mesh command uh, AMT info again, and take a look at the version and you'll see it's now activated in client control mode. Now, if you're familiar with AMT a little bit, there's something called LMS. This is the layered manage, managed service that provides um, basically port forwarding for the local OS into the hardware. Mesh command has that built in. So you type mesh CMD AMT LMS and LMS will run. Now, this is, uh, this is what we call micro LMS that's built in here. And we also, optionally, you have um, Mesh Commander running on port 6994. Now, this is a special version of Mesh Commander for LMS that's hosted inside here. If you don't want Mesh Commander to run on this port, you just type um, Mesh Command AMT LMS dash dash no console, and then uh, Mesh Commander will not be there. But since I have Mesh Commander right there, I can do localhost port 16994. And I'm going to remind everyone that this works on Linux too, which is really exciting. And so here, a little bit like on the command prompt, you'll see that it's my AMT machine is activated in client control mode. This is the version number. And you can click on the version number and get all information, the MEI driver, and any notifications. Those are notifications that are real time. So if you, um, if somebody KVMs to your computer or so on and so forth, all the user notification from, from AMT will show up on this web page in real time. Um, I can also deactivate AMT right here. So to confirm deactivation, this will only work if you're in CCM. And so, uh, it takes a few seconds and boom, AMT is now in pre-provisioning mode. Uh, and you can see the notifications just start piling up here on provision and so on. I'm going to reactivate P at SS or whatever password you have. And there you go, activated in client control mode. Now, because I have this version of Commander, I can say log in, type in the pa admin password. And this is a version of Commander that only is intended, whoops, I'll try this again. So I don't know what happened there. There it goes. I'll have to fix that. So this is a version of Commander that is uh, specially built into LMS. And so the um, so you can't do remote desktop, you can't do remote uh, uh, IDER or, or terminal or so on, because this version is only for configuring AMT through LMS. And so you have hardware information, event log, audit log, and, and so on and so forth. So you can go ahead and configure AMT here, um, you know, as long as you want. And then when you disconnect, you're back to the uh, web page. 
So and at any time you can hit refresh. And there's also a USB uh, a setup.bin editor if you want to create a, a new setup.bin file right there. OK, so this is um, mesh command. Now I'm going to move this aside and uh, and also mention that you can type mesh command. Let's see what else is there. Um, there's mesh command space mesh commander. Oops, mesh commander. And so this will run all the, f the full mesh commander on port uh, 3000. This is the default. Now, you don't have to have AMT locally on your machine to do this. Uh, you can run this on any machine. And then you go to a local host port 3000 and mesh commander will pop up here. So I can then uh, enter new machines by typing add computers, typing that in, and then I can click on a computer, say connect, and connect to that computer, do a remote desktop. Uh, here it's asking me for the user consent because I, I'm in that mode. There you go. And I have full remote desktop. So what's great here is I'm on, I could be on a Windows machine or a Linux machine. I run mesh commander like this, pop up the web browser, go to that port, and I have access to a full mesh commander uh, bolted in here. The, uh, the other nice thing about this is, uh, well, one note is that the list of machines here, this list of machines is saved in the browser. So if you open a different browser, you won't see the list of machines. And so it's important to, um, if you clear your browser cache, it will delete this list of machines. So it's important that you save the, the list of machines using the save button or you know whatever, and, and make sure that that, um, that is saved so you can open it up later when you need it. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, other things that, uh, that uh, mesh command can do it can um, remotely or locally get the AMT audit log so I'm gonna say AMT aud audit log and if I if I don't specify anything if I just say AMT audit log it gives me the local audit log of my machine and no credentials are required uh, as long as you run mesh command as administrator or, or root uh, on Linux uh, but you can also do um, uh, audit log, let's see, I'll just type help here. You can also uh, take the audit, uh, specify a host, a username and password and possibly TLS and get the audit log off a different machine. You can also save the output using uh, the output file name. So great here. Let's see what else uh, mesh command can do. Oh yeah, I won't demonstrate it, but you have a load web app and clear web app and web storage state starting with AMT 11.0 six, you can push mesh commander inside the firmware of a machine, uh, either your local or remote machine once it's activated, and it will replace the default index.html page. If you don't know about this, uh, there's a mesh commander uh, firmware loader that's available on meshcommander.com. Otherwise, uh, with mesh command, you just you just basically type mesh command load web app the host username and password and it will take mesh commander push it inside the um, the remote computer and then the default web page will be mesh commander let's see otherwise that's pretty much it uh, in addition to amt stuff mesh command will also be able to do mesh central things right now it can route uh, basically map local ports to remote ports on remote computers but as uh, we can evolving mesh command will probably add more uh, mesh central commands in addition but basically at this stage mesh command is a wonderful do-it-all tool for amt either to query things run scripts load uh, mesh commander uh, different places administer amt or so on you got all this and it's all in one single exe and it runs on linux and windows so that's just absolutely fantastic i hope you guys enjoy it too and give it a try thanks bye